In today's video, I'm building a Japanese house in Bloxburg. So, we all know Japan. It is a city of the future. And if you didn't know, I have a series on my channel where each house is a different style. And if you couldn't tell by my beautiful outfit, today we are building a Japanese house. Let's go! On screen now are some examples of the kind of Japanese house we're going for today. And if you're wondering, Reese, why are you in roofs? What is this random wall? What's going on? What the hell is going on here? Well, today I'm actually turning into a little bit of a Minecrafter by doing some terraforming. And this wall is going to tell us exactly how tall one floor is. And that's because the Japanese house is going to be on top of this mountain. This kind of looks like that island from H2O Mermaids. Who else loved that show? With that little chaotic start out of the way, let's actually add the stairway, which is going to take us up to this place. And now we should probably sketch the outline of the house. It's going to be huge. I mean, look at this mountain. And notice how I'm building it a little bit far back because we're going to have an overhanging porch. And the second story is one block smaller than the top story. Just adding a mountain makes it look so much more detailed. So we all know that iconic Japanese curved roof. And we kind of have it, an exotic flared mansard roof. So I'm just going to give you a pre-warning. Back of this is probably going to look like a pile of poo. And what am I even doing? We're meant to be doing an overhang. Let's just do it um, how we're meant to do it, shall we? Okay, welcome to my Japanese home. <laughs> Hello, welcome to our crib. And so what I was talking about with this overhanging porch, oh no, we've run into our first problem. No, I guess we'll just have to place a temporary floor, which will be deleted at the end of the video. Because I forgot you can't place things on roofs, but it's fine. So do you guys see what I mean now by this cute little overhang? That looks a million times better. Light stone gray is actually the perfect shade of white to use on a Japanese house. And then if we take the roof down, the wall trims, we're not going to be using none of these basic ones. You're basic. We're using this one. I love this one. Perfect. That's nice. It's different in some ways. And if we take a close look at this traditional Japanese house, we actually have that roof tile. And would you believe it, guys? It's called roof tile. This is so different to anything I've done before. That's why I think you guys are going to love it. Alrighty, so now's the part I've actually been the most excited for. The windows. So I don't even know where to start. I don't know where to start. As you can see, they're kind of like traditional. They're windows, but you can't see out of them. So I've grabbed an industrial window, which to me is the most similar. In order to get that white look, we're going to grab a clear curtain. That does look like a Japanese window. And just for reference, I think the front door should go here. And actually, just before we place this window, we should probably do the layout of the house. I want I want it to be quite open, which means the entryway is going to be here, and then this whole room is going to be a two-story living room. Guys, this roof is the bane of my existence. I hate it. We'll have the stairs here, and then this in here can be the kitchen and dining room. And these little bit here are just void. They are the abyss, because if you go in here, as you can see, it's just very, very strange looking, which means upstairs is much have this whole thing as the bedroom, and then a little bathroom in there, and then you can actually look over the side into the living room too. But anyway, we're getting way ahead of ourselves. We're only doing that so we could do the windows. And if you're new to the channel, guys, you may not know, I build in the most random order on earth. But yes, let's actually add these windows in first. And it's kind of good that these are fake because look, they're going into those abyss rooms. I mean, it's actually kind of fun building so freely with windows. I mean, the ones going into the bedroom will be real at least. We put a light on the subject because I can't see. Back wall here is going to be something special. He was special. This is going to be our first window wall of the series. And notice how I actually had to double this one up because it was one of the void rooms. I was thinking inside of here, we could actually put some Japanese trees. I just love the look of that. But once again, we're jumping inside. We still have the remainder of the outside to do. But if I'm being honest, this is literally just going to consist of a couple of benches. And I'm outlining the pathway here. And I normally hate these white fences. I hate him! They really do suit this Japanese style. The final stage before we go inside is just going to be adding a bunch of these pink trees. And the perfect lighting out here just has to be flint. And I also couldn't resist adding a waterfall out the front. And what an exterior this is. No wonder it took me so blimmin' long. Let's go inside. Okay, so like I promised, we are going to be doing the living room first. So it goes without saying we obviously need a way to get in here. This is kind of my little inspo picture, guys. So it looks as if the floor is basically what we'd have in an English house or an American house. And they'd have a Japanese carpet, which I'm going to add with a decal, so we'll save that to the end. The walls, they're very interesting. So they're kind of white walls, and then they have lines across them. Oh, and as I'd hoped, the roofs are now blending in perfectly. Hey, let me tell you this sister. I am, I am colder than a 
And I used to do something called Aikido Karate when I was little. And this really looks like the karate studio I used to do it in. I think it would be absolutely epic to have a fireplace going up the wall. Even though this is kind of made of like wood and straw, this house. <laughs> Maybe not the brightest idea to have a fireplace, but I'm going to put one anyway. Style inside Japanese living rooms is kind of contemporary modern. So I'm going to use these wicker sofas to make a corner sofa. I think this is always such a good idea when you have rooms this large. As I said, Japan is a city of the future. So rather than some mirror on here, literally can have a flat screen TV. So I do actually think we could probably leave the wicker as it is. I might just change it to be a bit more of like a pine cone. But honestly, this color scheme is matching perfectly. Pillow wise, they're probably a bit more minimalist than I'm about to do it. I'm not a huge fan of minimalist. So I always have to add a little extra dazzle. And now it's time for the coffee table all the way from New York. I'm not just saying this, I'd be happy if my Bloxburg house looked like this. I feel like Japanese culture is quite into crystals, like little plants and stuff, which to be fair is basically what I just love using anyway, so it's not that different. Up against this wall, we should probably have a dresser. And do you guys want to know one of my big dreams? To go to Japan. I'm not joking. It's one of my like top holiday destinations to go. But just imagine the Insta selfies you could get there. Anyway, they are very big on artwork and it's kind of like tapestries and fancy art that they use. And behind the dresses, we can actually put some more of these fraudulent windows. You're faking a fraud. <laughs> Why did I just sound like Mario leveling up? So over here we have a little bit more room where I'm gonna put more chairs. We could put a piano but I kind of feel like that's not as Japanese. That's more of like a British thing. We can have a chaise lounge. Oh yeah babes look at this. God what is this? How did that happen? <laughs> As I was saying, yes, the Emperor of Japan is going to be lounging on this, I reckon. Now, we don't want to make it too old school, so we'll have, like, this little modern lamp. I feel like there should be a servant here fanning them and giving them grapes or something. We'll add this fancy plant pot, and it's time to crack out the custom plants. And this is the one I found. I don't know why the plant's a bit grey. Maybe it's just wilting. And honestly, I don't want to clutch up the middle, so I'm not going to add a secondary coffee table. In this corner, let's go to the most expensive items and see what we can add. Yeah, let's just add this golden egg. Ew! What's what happened to that? No, I'm not going to add that. But do we have something like really tall that I can put? <gasps> that is splendid. Finally, we need to just get rid of this light and sort out the lighting sitch. I think there's no harm in trying the traditional one. That does go very well. That is the living room done. So we should probably do the entryway next. This floor is going to be a slightly different shade of flint. And also, I forgot we never even colored the front door. Let's do that. Although it's basically already got all the colors I want. These are the doors I'm actually going to use. They are just screeching Japan at me. <laughs> First things first, put a custom plan. Now we need to put all the things like a hat stand, and but I'm gonna use like the fancy version. What is this? A coat rack made out of bamboo. I wish Bloxburg would add coats so I could stop using these little towels. But, and I'm gonna make it kind of look like the Komoto I'm wearing. Now forgive me if I said that wrong, it might be called something else. And earlier, I know I said no pianos, but why does this spot look so good for one? Here is where we'll add that custom carpet because we kind of run out of room to do it in here. And voila, this is the one that I found. And again, we're just gonna have more of those little tapestries on the wall. Next up, we have the kitchen. And look at this Japanese kitchen, are you kidding me? So once again, we're using wooden flooring and it looks to me as if the walls were wooden planks. On the back here, I'm actually going to be using these pivoting glass doors just to get that modernized look. I'd never have thought that it was modern, but maybe that's just me being stupid. You are made of stupid. We've got to remember this is also the dining room, so do not go past this point. So I reckon I'm just going to do my typical Reese's design for this kitchen. And shall we go for this tangy green colour? <gasps> Hello, future me! They are very big on green tea in Japan. Now, I don't know if that's 100% true. I just read it somewhere when I was researching this video. So if you're Japanese, let me know if you actually love green tea. And a handy little tip is going into the kitchen section. It sounds obvious, but a lot of people actually forget it's there. And then this way you can add a bunch of like the essentials that you need. Now I'm very, very thankful that we have enough room for an island in here. I was getting very nervous that we wouldn't. And you might think it's stupid having an island right close to a dining room. I think the more seating areas, the merrier. And speaking of being merry, this is the most random segue topic to speak about. But who is excited for Christmas? It's... 
Like, I'm not trying to be one of those people who celebrates way too early, but like in three weeks, it's December. What are you guys asking for for Christmas? Comment down below. I know what I'm asking for. Robux. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay, so I've added a little sink in there and I don't actually want to clutter up the island. So I'm not going to add anything on it. Simply obsessed. So you thought these walls were detailed enough, did you? Well, I can tell you for free that they're not. We're actually adding a bunch of these pillars along here to add just that extra bit of detail. And that way we don't have to waste space. I don't know why I put the Victorian table. We've definitely got to have a modern one now. I went a little bit crazy with the textures on this, but I am crazy, so it makes sense. I am crazy, but I am free. And now we've just got to flip these little carpets underneath over. On here, I'm going to see if we can do something. I've never done before. Can we actually put a tree on the table? Oh my gosh, it looks like the tree is growing through the table. Let's just make sure there is actually still enough room for plates. I really don't want to risk overcrowding this kitchen room. So the last room downstairs, it can either be an office or a laundrette. I'm feeling like I do offices way too often. And let's do a laundrette. And by the way, laundrette just means laundry room in Reese's language. I'm guessing we're just going to build it how we normally build it, but with a dark colour scheme. Okay, so I've stolen a couple of goodies from the kitchen. In the middle here, we're going to have the sink, obviously. And then actually in this little spot here is where I'm going to put the washing machine. Instead, we just have to kind of use a couple of basic shapes. And then obviously this is where you're going to do the laundry. And I think this is kind of like a two person house because after all, there is only one bedroom. And then you'll probably have a car as well. Like you've got to be pretty rich to live in Japan, which means you need like gas canisters and stuff to fill that up with. And finally, to spruce up the floor, I'm going to add a couple of dark tiles. And so that's our little a laundry room done and the entire downstairs all we have left is two minuscule rooms up here so for a bedroom when you think about it, this is actually pretty big and i'm actually gonna finally use a couple of different colors up here so i wonder would vertical planks look good in pink it blimmin does as well so we've got to remember the door into the bathroom so i'd say that could probably go here and you might be thinking glass isn't that a bit scandalous Bombastic side eye. since it is just a one bedroom house i feel like it's fine this bed frame is actually perfectly colored i feel like there's a bit of like a stereo type around all default colors in Bloxburg because we look at it and we think ew that's not colored but sometimes it just doesn't need to be and there's nothing better than getting into new bed sheets at the end of a long day so yes that is the bed at the end of it we could have like a tv but I mean the lounge is literally there you can basically watch tv over the balcony which is sick no though I was thinking we could maybe have like oh, we could have a swing chair that is giving Japan house and then this leaves the whole rest of the bedroom to kind of be a closet so we're obviously going with the modern flow of this build which means we'll use the modern dresses and I don't get what these boxes are meant to be are they meant to be shoes or something that looks so, so much better. And little like knickknacks that you can add in a closet are like the Ottoman floor mirrors as well. And just to separate the room off a tad, I've added this little cornerstone wall, which I think just gives it a little bit more separation. You are gonna have to be a bit of a slender man to fit through. That looks so good though. And the last room is the bathroom. <gasps> I'm doing that. All of the walls in this one are going to be white, bar this one. And did you see what they had? They had like a little kind of built-in toilet system. So it looked a little something like this. They actually did have a TV in their toilet as well. It was obviously a small one, but why don't we have one in here? And the toilets were sort of coming out like this. I think we will just have one today. Did you see they had like an epic bathtub? Which to be fair, this one isn't that epic in Bloxburg, but it did look like this. And some people hate baths, so we'll make sure to add a shower set as well. And I like being extra, so we'll add a window so it's a bit more, you know, water's not splashing everywhere. <laughs> And it looks like the last thing we're going to be adding in this build is a little ladder shelf for the towels. And that finishes up my Japanese home. So chickens, this is my Japanese house. House. If you want to build this for yourself, it will set you back $307,510. So you have seen the exterior, but what it comprises of is basically these magical waterfalls. Like we've got our cherry blossom trees and then we've got the actual house. I'm the owner of this house. And just outside of that, we have our porchway. So we can sit down here. We can do some like fishing into the pond. But I know what you're all begging for. The inside. We are met with a gorgeous... Japanese style entry hall. So it's not too big, but it also doesn't feel small. I feel like I've got lots of room in here. First thing we can do is flex that I'm level 10 on the music skill. And also this is like a two story room, which I very much admire. But to the right, we have the first room we built, which is the living room. I mean, from ceiling to floor, this place is just grabbing your attention from every angle. Here's our chaise lounge. We can sit here, have a servant fan us or something. Or if it's like more of a family event, maybe Thanksgiving. We'll sit here. And yeah, I just love two story rooms. 
I need to do them more often because they just slay the day. Over to the other side, we have our laundry room and this floor is so divine. But yeah, this is a pretty simple room. It's just where you basically take your washing. And also if somebody's annoying you, then you can spray this in their eye. <laughs> And then the other room downstairs is the kitchen. So this is truly just something else. I've never made such a simple kitchen, but it looks so full. I think it must be the color scheme, the windows, and just the layout that does this. And then also we do actually have a dining room, which has a boho treat. I mean, if you're trying to talk to the person in that seat, then you have to like miss elastic your neck. And I love these glass doors. They were definitely a good idea. And lastly, upstairs, we have the bedroom. So feast your eyes on the closet and the bed section. This is obviously where you'd be getting dressed. And I love how it feels that this is just a massive walk-in closet out here. And then here's obviously the bed where you'd lay to rest. Not that you're like dying. Like I said, you can literally watch TV from up here, which is pretty sick. And finally, the room we just built, our little Japanese bathroom. I'm talking ladder shelf. I'm talking built-in toilet. And I'm talking bath time. Hopefully all if you guys liked watching me create my Japanese home, do subscribe and let me know what I should build next. I thank all of you who watched this and I'll see you all next time.